Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope all is well. This world is Hashem's garden. This is the place where Hashem desires the most. What is a garden? A garden is not a kitchen. A garden is not a bedroom. A garden is a place that is purely devoted to pleasure. Somebody has a garden in their house, it is extra. It is something that is devoted, something that is dedicated to enjoying themselves. Something that is not an everyday, normal place that you enter you know, to do everyday things. The garden is the place that you dedicate, that you set aside for a pleasurable experience. That's why when you see someone with a nice garden, you you get very enjoy, you get very excited because it's it's something that's like the icing on the cake, so to speak. This is what does this mean that this world is Hashem's garden? This is a place where Hashem wants to derive pleasure from. And we see it in the mimer of the Rebbe, the Rebbe says that quotes and explains the verse from so Song of Songs, Shir Shirim from Shlomo Amalek, King Solomon, where King Solomon says, Basi Lagani Kala, saying that Hashem is saying to the Jewish people, I have come to my garden, my sister, my bride. Speaking about the Jewish people, we are Hashem's bride. What does it mean? Why does Hashem say, Basi Lagani? Hashem says, I came to my garden. Hashem doesn't say, I came to the garden, but rather he says, I came to my garden. Why my garden? Because this is the place that Hashem is, has been connected to all along. Hashem is within the world entirely. Hashem was totally revealed within the world at the creation of, of Adam and Eve, as well as in the times of, of Mount Sinai, and as well in the, in, in, in the, uh, in the Midbar, in the desert with the, with, the, with the sanctuary, God was revealed. The Shekhinah, the divine presence, was shining forth throughout the world, the entire world. And this was also apparent, this was also clear in the days of the temple, in the first and second temple, especially in the first temple where the divine presence was even stronger. The, the revelation of the divine presence was even more revealed within the world. That What does it mean the divine presence was revealed? It means that the world experienced an apprehension, a grasping, a, a, a vision of God at all times. The whole world, just like you feel, you feel that, I'm here. I feel that I have a, sh a shirt and a suit on right now. I feel that I could see I have a beard. I could touch it. So too, the world was able to feel God creating them and God interacting with the world and God in general. They felt God. So too, that will be the case when Hashem returns to the garden. And this is what King Solomon said, When Solomon built the temple, when Hashem, when the divine presence was re-revealed to Israel, King Solomon said this verse that Hashem is saying, I'm coming to my garden. How does this apply to each and every one of us in our lives? By realizing that we can build, we can welcome Hashem into our garden, into our life. We are part of Hashem's garden. And that this world is the world that Hashem desires the most. Hashem has lofty worlds. Hashem has worlds where there's infinitely greater revelations of God than in this world. There's worlds with angels that are that, that know the entire Torah. There's worlds where, where the lowest angel, their feet so to speak, is, 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 is greater than this world. What does this mean? It's a spiritual concept that their lowest part of their consciousness is a greater revelation than this entire world. However, this is the world that God desires the most. This is the world that the Rebbe is saying that this is where her God, God is most interested in. Why? Because this is the world where we can give something back to God, where we have free will. This is the world that Hashem gave the Torah to. And this is the world where a greater revelation of God will be revealed than in any of the higher worlds combined. Because this world is connected to Atmos, it's connected to Hashem Himself. That there's miracles that are above nature, and then there's and then there's miracles, there's nature, and then there's miracles. Nature is the way normal things work, and miracles are when Hashem has to change the nature and perform a miracle, like the splitting of the seas or or, or the, the 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 water of the sea turning to blood. But in the days of Mashiach, the nature itself will turn into a miracle. That it will be an even higher level, that a God won't have to change the nature, but the nature itself will express godliness. This will be revealed in this world. With the coming of Mashiach, may it be revealed today. May Hashem bless you all. Thank you so much.